Hi and welcome to part two of our Ultimate Arduino tutorial. In, uh, in this one we're going to look at a button still, we're doing a single button, except we're giving multiple types of data from a single button. So if you haven't done the first part you probably need to do that, uh, or this code is from it if you know what you're doing. Um, and right now we have just this momentary button coming through. So if we go to our serial monitor, you see we're getting single bits of data every time we hit the button. Now we can get more than one kind of button. So I'm going to call this, uh, this type of information, I'm going to call it momentary. Uh, oh, well, I think I have to embed it later. So I'll put the, I'll put the headers in later because I think we're doing it. Yeah. Within the digital read, right? Okay. Oh yeah, right here. So this is the momentary, right? So if we push it, Meaning if we push it and it's being held down, it's going to report on, you know, one. And if we release it, it's going to report it's the release date just for the moment, right? But you can get, also get a to, what, I, what I might call a toggle information for from it, all right? Meaning that if you push it, it'll give you the number of times pushed up to a certain number. Uh, again, easier, uh, easier seen than, than shown. Uh, than talked about, easier shown than, than talked about. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So uh, so those are our button things. This is our toggle vars. Okay. So let's go ahead and make some things. So the button pin is still the same. Uh, the button value is similar still. So we're going to use the B, B val, though actually we're not even using a B val. So we can probably get rid of that. Do we use a value? Uh, yeah, we do. Okay. Ah, there's a button toggle value. Okay, so we can actually get rid of this value because we don't use that. Okay. And um, so, but we do need a value for the toggle. So we're going to call, we're going to make an int and we're going to call it BTV, button val, maybe button toggle val. We can even just be more explicit for now. BTOG val. Okay. So it's going to be the value of the tag toggle. And right now we'll make it equal to zero. All right, and um, and I'm going to have, uh, uh, just trust me for now, and then we'll explain all these variables later, maybe it'll be easier to have them up here. We're going to have this another integer, and we're going to have a button, btog, and then uh, amount. Okay, and right now we'll just make it two for now. Okay, and then we're going to have, just like up here, a b gate. We're going to have a btog gate, so b -O b tog gate. Okay, and that's going to be equal to true as well for from the from the beginning from the default. Okay? So what do I mean by toggle? Basically, the toggle button is if you hit it once and you let it go, it registers say 1, and if you hit it again and let it go, say 2, hit it again, let it go 3, and then it loops back around depending on uh, how how many times you want it. So if you want to have a thing that toggles through 10 possibilities, you know, it goes 0 1 2 3 4 10 and then it come back to 0. Right? And this is what this toggle amount is about. So if the toggle amount is 2, it'll just go 0, and then 1, and then back to 0 again, and 1. But n unlike the momentary one, once if I hold it and let it go, it'll register 1, and it'll stay at 1 until I push it down and let it go again, and then it'll, it'll move to 0 again, or whatever you want. Okay? So let's set that up. Basically, we have this grand category of if the button is pushed or let go. So this is if the button is pushed. Remember, it's counterintuitive. If it's zero, it's pushed. If it's high, it's not pushed. Okay, so we have that big kind of bracket, these curly brackets and everything in there. So we'll keep that because everything will be in that paradigm. It'll be either pushed or not pushed. Okay, but we'll set up another section here within each, within that big curly bracket and we'll call it toggle. Okay. And we're, we're, I'm going to go ahead and push through a little bit. So, um, yeah, I mean, if you need to repeat this bit or if you need to understand or go back over wh what this is all about, but I'm going to go ahead and not be so step by step. Uh, but if this is confusing you, then go back to the first video and you'll understand this gate bit. But we're also going to have a gate system so that when we toggle it, it's just not going to give you this continuous output, right? It's just going to give you one value until you do something else. Okay, so we need to do if... And then we call this B tog gate, right? If that's true, and then remember, don't forget your closing bracket, all right? And then we're going to make sure then the B tog gate is uh, equals false, okay? And I just want to make sure I'm doing this right. Yeah, okay. 
So, uh, right. Okay. Now, uh, right, so then that closes the gate, so we only get one output. Okay, now what we want to do, why we have this extra btog value, we want to be able to hold on to that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have btog val, btog val, right? And when we start the program, it's equal to zero. What we're going to do is each time we push it, now this is, I'm sorry, this is, it's kind of reverse. This is the, this is the, um, this is the off setting, right? Okay, so sorry, bear with me a second, if you don't mind, all right? If you don't mind, bear with me a second. We're gonna do a little bit of, of shuffling things just because it reads a little easier. So sorry about this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put the this part, shove it down in here and then put that part up in here because really we want to know if it's pressed first and then we wanna know if it's released. It's just a little bit easier for me anyways, okay? If you wanna keep it as is, just do things in reverse, okay? So what we're gonna do is we'll change that to low Sorry, change that to low, right? So that's only if it's pushed, okay? And then we're gonna, else will mean it's, and this will be button pushed up here. Okay, and then this will be button released. Okay, but of course we have to swap the code. So let me just copy, oops. This, when I have such a big font, that's not very happy. So when we copy all this down, all the way to here, okay, except for that closing bracket there. We want all that. So we're going to cut that and just paste it in here, in here. And then this else stuff we're going to cut and paste it in here. Okay, there and then command T to line everything up. Okay, so if it's pushed now, our momentary, if it's not true, then it becomes true, et cetera, et cetera. This is still fine, this is still what we want, okay? But then the toggle bit, we're gonna copy that here, and we're gonna push it here. So we're back to where we were. Thank you for your patience, okay? So now this is if toggled on. So if the toggle's pushed, now, if it's pushed, then if it's, Ah, sorry about this. Um, right, okay. Well, we'll just leave it this way, okay? Uh, no, okay, no, we, you know what? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to go back and do the first video, but we're going to swap everything, so hopefully you're, you're patient. We're going to swap this uh, to... Uh, we're gonna swap this momentary to true, and this is false. Okay, we are gonna swap those gates. The reason for that is that, so then it doesn't give a reading when you start it up, okay? This way, it'll wait for you to push the button. And once you push the button, then it will, will you give, it'll give you a thing, but we have to swap these as well, right? And then we have to swap this one as true. Okay, so that this way, the very first reading you get will be the first time you push the button. So it'll be by default true, but it'll only come through if you actually push the button. So if you push the button, then it'll give you your reading. And if you let it go, then it starts that nice loop. Then let it go, it becomes true, okay? So then in this case, again, if this is true, big tog gate is true, it's gonna shut the gate, false, so you only get one reading, and then it's gonna up, we're gonna update the value, okay? So we're gonna start it at zero, and it's gonna actually equal to itself, b tog val, which of course initially is zero, and we're gonna add one to it at this time, okay? We're gonna add one to it. So every time you push the button, it's just gonna advance one, right? It's gonna advance one, it's gonna advance one, it's gonna advance one. After that, we'll print it out, serial dot print. And again, we're gonna have a header, but we're gonna give it a different header. It'll be BT zero, maybe. And then serial dot print line. And then it'll be the val, BTOG val. Case because it'll be it won't just be one or zero this time it'll just continue to iterate so I'm going to leave it like that without uh, and I'll show you the next step with, and we're just going to go ahead and iterate it here we do need to fix up the toggle gate down here so we're going to do to the button gate released here part because we need to open that gate up every time we release it so if b toggle gate is false right then we're going to make it true 
And then we're not going to do a VTOG valid. We're just going to make it true. So that just opens up the gate. So basically, when we push the button, uh, it's going to do all this, but it's going to make it false. But it won't, it won't run this stuff again until we release the button. Then it'll make it true. Then we can do this stuff again the next time we push it. Okay, I hope that makes sense to you. All right, so let me save that. Let's upload that. Hopefully I didn't make any mistakes. Oh, I did. Uh, BTOG gate. Okay. Typo. Oh, more typos. BTOG gate. BTOG. Well, BTOG gate. BTOG gate. Okay. Now, so now that we push it, you see the BT1 and then BT2, the BT3, BT4, BT5, BT6. Okay, so it just keeps advancing because of this plus one every time I push it through. All right, now we're going to implement this other part, which is this amount. Okay, so we're going to use the modulo function and I think every time I bring up module, I explain it, but basically it gives you the remainder, but basically it just loops it around. Look it up or watch one of our previous videos. I won't go into too much detail, but basically we're just going to modulo this. So it, of plus one, but instead of just continuing add ad infinitum, we're going to use this percentage side, which is the modulo, and we're going to do it by the BT amount. The BTOG amount? Yeah, BTOG amount. VTOG amount. In other words, it's going to, if it's two, this will go zero and then one, and then it'll go back to zero. Okay? So it just gives the remainder. So uh, it's easier to do in, it's harder to start from zero, but let's say, let's say VTOG value is two. When we advance it to three, the remainder is one, right? When we advance it to four, two goes to four twice, the remainder is zero, right? Uh, five, remainder is one, six, remainder is zero. So it just constantly toggles between one and zero, okay? So again, let's save, let's upload and just have this, just to, sh just to see what's going on here. Okay. Oh, right, it's uploaded and you see it's one and then it's zero, and then it's one and then it's zero. It's one and zero, one, zero, okay? And of course, you know, you can just simply change the amount. And this is kind of getting to the ultimate Arduino code part of it. We're gonna have a few variables up here when we all said and done that we just change a few of them and uh, completely modify all, all the code universally throughout it all, okay? So if we want a BTOG amount to 10, we just change that variable and we upload that. And then now it'll toggle through to 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, well, to 9, and then back to 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, perfect. Okay, great. So that's the toggle thing. Now we already took care of the release part. We don't have to, do, we don't have to report any release because we want to toggle through, right? We only want to report every time it, it, we add one to the toggle. And so this just needs to, this part, the release part, needs to just open that gate up so we just get the one reading. We get the one value every time we push it and then release it and then we get another value, we push it again, then we release it. Okay. And the other part of it is just simply that we have now one single button, but we have two bits of information. We've given them different headers. So this is B0 and this is BT0, right? And now we have two different, we have it every time we push and let go. So like a, you know, on off, just a, a if we hold it, it's going to be one all the time. And if we let go, it's going to be zero. This one, it'll toggle through every, every time we have it. So you can use them for different purposes, the same button if you want, and you can use them to do different things, or you can just you can just parse the information that you want, you either make it a toggle or a momentary button. But that both those bits of data are coming through for every button all the time, right? Every time you push it. Um, so you can choose by parsing for that particular header, by sorting for that thing, either BT or just plain B, you can, you can make that the type of button you want but you you have access to both types of information. So that that's kind of why I like this sort of very versatile, but yet fairly simple code. Okay, so I'll stop that tutorial there. And on the next one, we'll take up now kind of a, it'll be kind of a longer one. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take up the mantle of trying to make this as many buttons as we want 
and for uh, different sets of pins, et cetera, et cetera. It'll make it finally the sort of ultimate button code. All right, and then we'll do the same process for different types of sensors. Okay, so please join me for that one.